Well, if you're looking to enjoy a classic Saskatchewan winter pastime for free this weekend, we are absolutely in luck. February 13th to the 15th is the free winter fishing weekend. That means you don't need a license to fish on Saskatchewan's public waterways. And uh, joining us this morning is the uh, Baron of Burbot himself, the Wizard of the Walleye, Jason Maddity from uh, Maddity's uh, GetFishing.com. Good morning to you, good sir. Good morning. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the free fishing weekend. It's become a bit of a staple, a uh, circled date on the calendar. It sure has. And about, I think it's about three years ago now, they added a winter one. It was almost always exclusively in the summer that you had your free fishing weekend. And it, it, the popularity has just grown. There's so many options out there, uh, you know, to get into fishing. Uh, a lot of great fishing around the Queen City. So, uh, you know, it's it's a great time to take advantage of it. Here the weather's going to be good. And to do it on the long weekend, you've mm -hmm. got three days. So what are the uh, what are the first things that we need to know before we venture out this weekend? Well, you have to know the regulations. And and I know I say that every time we talk about this, but, you know, you, you have to go to the website, saskatchewan.ca slash fishing. Uh, just making sure I get that right. Right. Um, you know, and, and know your limits because, uh, for example, Buffalo Pound, uh, you have reduced limits. You can only keep 10 perch. Don't want you leaving with uh, 50 in mm -hmm. your bucket, right? Whereas it's 25 at other lakes. So you have to know those those things. So you're going to have a good day and you don't get busted by the conservation officer because you didn't read the regulations. And in many cases, and this would be the sort of things that the neophytes would need to know, is that the uh, the penalties can be quite severe if you uh, if you run afoul of the conservation officers. Yeah, it, we're talking thousands of dollars, um, you know, and confiscation of equipment, and depending upon your negligence of the law, quite frankly, they could take away your right to fish for a year or more. So it is a free fishing weekend, but yes. it's not a free-for-all. No, weekend. no, absolutely it is not. For Let's sure. uh, talk a little bit about the setup. I know a lot of people that are, uh, you know, maybe uh, looking to get into, uh, into fishing. A little hesitant to do so because you start looking at, you know, piecing together the, you know, you need the rod and the reel and the net and the, and the gators and the, you know, the whole yeah. thing and, and it, it starts to add up pretty quickly. But you just need a real basic setup to get uh, to get off the ground. You do. It can be crazy overwhelming if you let it get that way. But think of, uh, I need a uh, lighter rod and a heavier rod. This is very light, small jigs, quarter ounce or less spoons that we're using here. Good for your perch, smaller walleye, that type of thing. What you're holding, Chris, got a little bit heavier stick, three quarter ounce to one ounce jig, so that's good for your bigger walleyes, burbot and pike. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and all those species, particularly the burbot, the pike and the perch are just going goofy right now. It is their time of year to shine and you could really take advantage of it. So if you got a, a basic two combo setup like this, you're good to go. We uh, we haven't seen kind of the classic Saskatchewan winter this year. Uh, what has that done for the fish themselves? It kind of takes them out of their dormancy period a little bit? Well, you know, for the most part, uh, when they're living under the ice, whether it's minus 40 or, you know, plus 4, things kind of stay relatively stable because they're insulated from the real world, if you will, right, by that ice. Uh, but but certainly it, it can change. The big thing is when flow comes in, it can change water temperature, and that's the big thing. When it's a solid minus 40 winter, which I think we can all appreciate it hasn't been, mm -hmm. uh, the fish get slower and slower. They, they, their metabolism slows down. So probably the warmer weather may have kept them more active, but nah, it, I don't think it's too much of a factor, actually. Jason, just a couple seconds left. Yeah. Uh, any concerns that we should have as far as the ice, uh, the pack, the flow, uh, you know, this time of the year? You know, anytime you venture on ice, you have to be careful. Uh, if you're going out for the first time, uh, you know, make sure you've t chatted with your local tackle shops and made sh ask them if there's any areas of concern. Stay away from river mouths and current for sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, just always be careful on the ice. If you're not sure, walk out a bit, drill your hole, check, measure it, and you're looking for at least 10 centimeters of good solid ice before you walk on, and I recommend walking for sure. All good stuff, and of course, if people want more information on everything in the angling world, maddiesgetfishing.com. For sure, we've got great segments about these species we're talking about that'll help you this weekend. Always good stuff. Thanks for coming in, Thank my you. friend.